Well, the once current thing is very much not the current thing anymore. Zelensky told US senators that Ukraine is considering conscription of men over 40 and sending them to the front lines. Now, I'm no foreign policy expert or geopolitical mastermind, but sending middle-aged men to fight on the front lines of a war is not normally a sign that the war's going very well. It normally means that there's no more young bodies to feed into the meat grinder. The sense of impending doom is everywhere. Even CNN and the mainstream media are pretty much admitting that the jig is up. One of Zelensky's aides telling Time, he deludes himself. We're out of options. We're not winning. But try telling him that. And that sobering assessment extends beyond the civilian government. Last week, the chief correspondent of German newspaper Die Welt said the Ukrainian counteroffensive seems to have failed and that there was a sense Kiev had already lost the war. The dispute between the president and the top military officer shows that the unified home front in Ukraine is crumbling, he wrote, and every doubt expressed in Kiev about Ukraine's prospects of success is being reinforced in the corridors of European and American government headquarters. Note how the soy jacks over on Reddit responded to this story by denying it's even happening. Thank you for your contribution, but this submission has been removed because it originates from a non-credible source. Literally zero source here, no link to an article to be found in this post. Just the word Bloomberg randomly added into the title without actually linking to any material from them. I'm not finding this neither on Bloomberg nor anywhere else. Mud should delete this. Quick, delete it. No source, not from Bloomberg. Here's the source. Eric Wasson, a reporter for Bloomberg. Now sometimes it's just really hard to let go when you've invested so much emotion in the current thing. That tip-tapping you hear is the sound of Ukrainian flags being furiously removed from bios across the length and breadth of major social media platforms. As you know, I was highly sceptical of Zelensky from the very start. Not really because of anything he did or said, but because the cult of personality worship was being performed by the exact same people who aggressively shilled for lockdowns and vax mandates. Looks like those people are going to end up on the wrong side of history yet again. Which is not to say that we shouldn't have vast amounts of sympathy for the Ukrainian people who appear to have been caught in the middle of all this and used as pawns as their young men were sent off to die for nothing. <laughs> If you value what I do and you want to help support me, please visit pauljosephwatson.locals.com and either pledge a one-time donation or subscribe to join my community, get early access videos and message me directly. And exclusive live streams coming soon too. Promise. Check out the Locals link down in the description. And don't forget to take a look at the brand new website, modernity.news. That's where you'll find all my content, including exclusive articles. That's modernity.news. <laughs>